Oh, my dress is down. It's broken. Oh. Something is moving over there. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 14 on the Trans Euro Trail and we're riding all the way through the UK from England through Wales to the border of Scotland. And welcome to a grey and partially rainy day in central Wales. We camped last night just here on the side of the hill next to this beautiful reservoir behind us. But it definitely looked more beautiful yesterday with the sunset and the blue skies. And then when I opened the tent this morning, I got a little bit scared, but we're gonna push on and hope that the blue skies are coming over the hill somewhere that way. So let me show you where we're heading today. So we are here and today we are gonna be following the trail north to try and find a place to fix our broken computer. Uh, the keyboard's not working. Can't really import any footage at the moment. Actually, I can't really do anything with the computer at the moment. Before heading over to the coast, around this awesome headland here and up into northern Wales. Yes, like the last days, it will be an exciting day on the trails here in Wales. But I can sense that the rain is coming. So I would say better hit the road, let's go. I think we really, really, really have to get out of here and try to find some sunshine. Which way is south? I'm heading to Dover to take the ferry. That's where I'm going. Don't know about you. Gonna go backwards like this. Whee! And then use the engine to get myself back up again. There we go. <laughs> Stall number one. Wouldn't be a full day on trails without stalling, eh? I can so see the rain clouds. And I'm absolutely not excited about that. Nearly crashed into the bush there. <laughs> Come on, one day without crashing. One day in Wales without raining would be nice. Yeah. But what a beautiful spot, hey? I mean, this really gives me New Zealand vibes. And nobody around. Seriously, we saw this morning two cars. I didn't even know this area of Wales existed, but I mean, it's just this very big, open wilderness area that like no one seems to go to it's amazing for us because what a space for a wild camp beautiful very lucky yeah and a beautiful reservoir here would have been nice if we could camp right down on the beach next to it but uh we all saw how that went To be honest, here probably would have been a bit easier, but this grass is so hard to get through. It's super thick yeah. and very difficult to ride. Yeah. We probably would have got stuck anywhere we tried to get down to the water. But our first mission for today is to follow the trail until we get to the small town of Machilev. I really don't know how to pronounce it. This one here, Machilev. Machilev. And there I can see that they've got some cafes and places where we can go and see if we can get this computer up and running. Because it's quite important for us to be able to continue making videos that this computer actually works. Otherwise we'll basically be doing this whole trail and uh, there'll be nothing posted up on the channel for ages. So I don't know how many miles away that is. I think it's about 10 or 15 miles ahead. So we'll head over to Mackinleth, stop at a cafe, See if we can get this computer up and running. Let's try to sort something out, eh? The sun, the sun. 
sun. I can see it. I can see it. It's over there. Yeah, down at the bottom of the hill there. I think we've just got to get off these mountains. That's where we have to go, yeah. But wow, is that nice here. Going into the jungle. Look at this. Wow. How nice. Just enter the Costa Rican rainforest. <laughs> I'm always surprised like how much a jungle of forest here is in Wales, really. Well, originally this is what all of Wales would have looked like. Yeah, exactly. Proper dense, jungly forest. Wow. Stunning. Really, really stunning. Looks like we've got a little bit of rain coming in from the coast. Oh no. And of course, because it's Wales, we also have a rocky road. <laughs> oh, that is bumpy. Welcome to McKinless. That is a picturesque tower, isn't it? And we found on the map a cafe which is just around the corner. Oh wow, yeah, that is beautiful. I would say here is good. This is, looks like a little cafe. Hello. Hi, how are you? Oh. We're just going to park up. Are you parked up here? Okay, that's you. Okay, lovely. If we park up somewhere on the side here. It's a good coffee, but it's not good news on the Mac front. I've looked up online how to reset everything and seeing if there's anything we can do to get this keyboard working, but at the moment, nothing. I think the next step for us is to find a place where we can buy an external keyboard and maybe just use that instead. Don't really know. Wow, look at this cafe here. It's like, it's almost like a castle on the inside. Beautiful, look at this. Look, this is the way to the toilet. Okay, ready to rock and roll? Awesome, thank you, bye-bye. So we have found a computer store, which is in Aberystwyth, which is luckily only about 40 minutes ride from here. There's a Curry's there. So unfortunately it means that we're gonna have to go off trail for a little bit, go and pick up a external keyboard and mouse so that we can at least do a little bit of computer work and get a video ready for this week. Because we literally don't have any videos ready for the end of this week. We have a bit more editing to do. So we're gonna head there now, see if we can pick up a keyboard, see if it's gonna work and go from there. But this seems like a really kind of cool little hippie town. I asked one of the people inside the shop what the name of the place was. I think it was something like McKinthliff. I still don't know if I'm getting that right, but it was definitely a nice little place to have a stop. Anyway, onwards to Aberystwyth. All right, we have arrived in the city of Aberystwyth, the city that has more students than residents. There we go, Curry's, our savior. I'll just pop in, grab the cheapest I can find. One semester later. I like all these brambles. <laughs> On this bike. <laughs> so I just bought a little Bluetooth mouse. It's working fine. 
so I just wanted to make sure I could get into the computer and that everything was actually working. So now I'm gonna go buy a Bluetooth keyboard and then if that's working, then at least we have a way that we can use this computer for the time being. So Levy just said that somebody came up whilst I was in Curry's and said that they knew our channel and were following our channel. Hey, we're famous in Wales, my love. We're famous in Wales. But anyway, uh, that was success. So I got a Bluetooth keyboard, tested it out, everything's working. So we are back up and running. Next stop, right over there, McDonald's. And McDonald's is the perfect place for us to sit on the computer and work on our next thumbnail. Because we've got a video coming out tonight and uh, we haven't done the thumbnail for it yet. So we're a little bit behind on our work. Sorry guys. What the hell kind of exit is this? Bloody hell. Two hundred ninety-eight frozen patties later. Right, there we go. Mission successful at McDonald's. We now have a thumbnail ready for you guys for tonight's video. Yay, yay. Just in time. Thank you, McDonald's, for the Wi-Fi, for the electricity and for never caring how long we sit there. Anyway, we thought whilst we were in Aberystwyth, we would also stop by the Lidl, get ourselves some cheap supplies for the road before we make the 16 mile journey back to McKinthleth and back onto the Trans Euro Trail. I think I'm getting the hang of saying the name of that town. McKinthleth, McKinthleth. So I think this is pretty much the center of Aberystwyth here. And you can see there, the giant weather spoons at the center of everything. But for a town that basically has a population of only students, that's the place to be. But this is our favorite place to be in the UK. Lidl, the land of noodles and dreams. Do I need a bag? Of course I don't need a bag. <laughs> oh. And they dropped everything. I got a bag from Martin. Oh yes, of course. Thank you, Martin. <laughs> it's even a little bag. Hey! So we got some breakfast cereal, got some tortellini for dinner, we got some cheese, we got some fake Oreos, nuts, noodles, some oil, and uh, some nice <laughs> seeded bread, and a pan of chocolat for the little princess. So we finally made it back to McCuntleth. We looked at the time and it's nearly five o'clock. So we decided to actually just find a campsite close by for tonight so that we can really hit the green lanes tomorrow fresh. And we found a campsite which is only six minutes from here called Guerniago Campsite. It's only 22 pounds a night for the two of us. They've got showers, they've got electricity for us to charge a computer. And we have a lot of footage to import. So it looks like we're probably gonna have to just write off today and say, we didn't get a lot of trail done, but we got our computer back up and running. We got a thumbnail done and now we can have a shower, wash our clothes, get nice and fresh again because my boots are still damp since like the last three days. So seeing as we have some good sunshine at the moment, we're gonna head to the campsite now and have a nice early-ish finish for the day. Book in at the farmhouse, all right? Look at this lovely farmhouse. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello, how are you? You're Oliver, right? Yes, that's right, yes. Yep, that's us. You're a working farm as well? Or? Yes. Yes, what do you do? Um, sheep. Oh, okay. Sheep. Lambs and wool. The wool. the wool, no, no, it's not important. Nobody in wool. You do shear the sheep, Obviously, but you've got to you do that to. for their welfare. Otherwise, they just end up like a big ball of fluff. Yeah. <laughs> but you go to camp, you go around the house, and you keep to the right at the bottom of the hill. Yep. And then you just choose your space. Okay, perfect. We'll do that. Thank you. So, around the house. Oh, I can see quite a lot of people here. Look at this. Populous site. Non-electrical pitches, that's it. Down there? In the corner? Okay. This bit's pretty flat. I'm going to stay here. This is good. 
Home sweet home, hey? Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy the life. Yes, yeah, so we've got lots of things going on here at the camp. We've got our tent set up here. We've been trying to find a leak in our climate mattress. And it turns out it's the same place that we've already tried patching here. We just put water over the whole mattress and definitely bubbles coming out of here. So we're gonna try to put a new patch over there and hope for the best because this morning we basically woke up on the ground. Here we've got our tent drying. Well, we've got everything drying to be honest. We had a bit of sunshine, it's kind of gone now, but there was a bit of sunshine. So we basically just laid out everything to dry. Little clothesline here. Lavi had a shower, so she put like loads of clothes in a bag. What did you do? Just like stand on it? It's like, just like stomping on it. So yeah, we've done our laundry, imported some of the footage, but now the computer has run out of battery. So I've got to go over to the kitchen area and finish importing all the footage. We've got a tasty dinner on the way. What have we got going on? <laughs> Look at that fried bread. Look, can you wow. hear that? That is gourmet bread and cheese, guys. Yeah, so it's a little bit sad that we couldn't make too much progress today on the TED. But, you know, if you sort of work on the road, you have to figure out stuff like that and with the computer. The important thing is that the video will go out tonight. We've succeeded our mission as YouTubers. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.